Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Time for some early season action from the high-powered offenses in the Big 12. That does it for us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Enjoy the game. We'll see you at the half. intimidating road venues in college football thanks to the 12th man before we head down to the field for the coin toss we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by coke zero real coke taste zero calories enjoy everything Texas a and has lined up for the kickoff, and we're ready to get this one underway. He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. quickly and he's got his man they'll bring him down at the 44 yard line good job by the offensive line to pick up the linebacker on the blitz that gave the quarterback enough time to find his man for a nice game And they make the stop around the 46 yard line just a simple draw play there but they picked up some big yards He has some room. Tackle made at the 35-yard line. This one might be coming back, folks. Let's check Chris out the penalty. Clipping. Clipping. Offense. Offense. Well, that penalty drives them back, Still and they're shooting down. themselves in the foot here. Well, if they could just keep their concentration, they'll avoid situations like that. It's first down and a lot. They'll line up with five wide receivers. And he's taken down at the 31. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterbacks. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. There's a strike complete. He's taken down at about the 27 yard line. That makes it second and six. And he carries the ball for a nice game. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. That makes it first and goal. And down he goes around the one yard line. Call it a gain of eight yards. That brings him second and goal. They bring him down in the backfield. The option can be really tough to defend. At that time, it was well played by the defense. So here we go. It's third and goal from the four, and this would break the tie. Touchdown, Texas Tech. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
That's what makes this offense so tough to defend. When you have a quarterback with the ability to run and throw and he gets down into this area of the field, chances are he's going to find his way into the end zone. He makes the PAT. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. The Hawkeyes were ranked 23rd. The victory was solid. We'll see how much it impresses the voters. And for Iowa, they continue their winning ways. The Hawkeyes grab the 20-point victory. In other games, Boomer, Sooners ready to go in Norman. Back and forth, they go to heavyweight, slugging it out. The Golden Hurricane lead, 3-0. Thanks, Reese. 7-0 game here. Ralph, ready to kick. Anderson. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Well, the crowd has been waiting for him all day. Ball's big playability about to be on display in front of the home crowd here. He's set to take his first snap as he brings the offense out, Kurt. And, Brad, this kid's reputation precedes him. The entire offense is designed around him. As his performance goes, so will his team. So let's see what he can do in front of this big crowd. Just a complete leader. Halfback hauls it in past the marker. He's got it with room to run. Brought down right around the 44 yard line. Tackles him hard at the 34-yard line. A very solid gain through the air. I'm impressed with the poise of this quarterback and the ability of the receiver to keep his concentration and get his hands on the football. He makes his way out to about the 25. So they go on the ground and pick up another first down. They are stringing together a nice little drive here. If they keep this up, it'll be hard to keep them out of the end zone. He's tackled around the 14-yard line. From the 14-yard line. First down. Hey, Mike, 20, Mike, 20. Yeah. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. Defensive coordinator anticipating this five wide set, and he comes in with his dime packing. And they got it. The defenders played the snap count. Perfectly. He found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. This is the ninth play of this drive. point to tie this game up. And he tacks on the extra point. Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. Let's take a look at scores around the country. This is a game we've been watching closely today. Back and forth these two teams go, neither one giving an inch. We could be headed to a photo finish. Tulsa leading the way, 6-0. Thanks, Reese. We're tied at seven in this one. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He 
He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 27-yard line. The quarterback is on his way back onto the field, and he led a great drive last time out. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That's a That makes it second and six. He gets out to about the 32-yard line. Texas Tech's got a guy behind center that can really do it all, Herbie. I mean, he's a dual threat. He can hurt you with his feet and his arm. With this guy, it's PYP. Pick your poison. at the 48. And he hits him hard at the 50-yard line. out of bounds. Tight ends can really be a wild card in any offense. Sometimes the defense are a little bit confused on how to handle them. Throws complete. He's got space to work. He's brought down in the open field. We've played one. We're even at seven in this one. We can only hope the second quarter is as good as the first. Tight ball game, folks. Dog four. Hey, kill, kill, kill. He might have a chance. Brought down in the open field. That's good for a game. First down. He gets rid of this one. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. The 10. Nice play to set up first and goal. That's good for a game of 16 yards. That makes it first and goal. He's going to try and scramble. And he's going to come up with a sack. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. And he stopped behind the line. That's a loss of three yards on the play. That makes his third and goal. Well, it's third and goal, and they're ten yards out. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. They come out in a five wide set. Open man, quick strike, and he can't pull it in. Great stand by the defense, and they get it back for their offense. Oh, 
They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. And they push him out around the 22-yard line. That makes it second and six. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. That's a gain of three on the play. That'll bring up third and two. Roger, Roger. Hey, check Mike 27. Check Mike 27. Easy, easy, kill, kill. Kill, 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 kill. Makes it out to about the 39. He's at the 40. That tackle could have saved a very big play. it out to about the 24 yard line that'll bring up third and four and here's another third down and he's hit immediately when they broke the huddle i'm sure everybody knew the ball was going to go to this receiver and he still brought it in to give this team a big lift and this play is number eight on the drive. Looks to the end zone and it's caught. Touchdown. And he adds the extra point. An eight-play, 84-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Finds his man, and they take him down immediately. That last pass was good for maybe five yards. Here's a safe play hitting the underneath receiver, but it's a nice gain of five. From their own 30-yard line, second down. Here we go, here we go, here we go. go! He sails it long. Nice grab on the play. Touchdown, Red Raiders. Will be tied with the extra point. He splits the uprights with the extra point. set to kick this one away. From the 7. He's out to the 30. The 50. Inside the 30. He finally goes down at the 16-yard line.
And I think this defense right now needs somebody to try to lift up their spirits. They seem to really be just out there kind of going through the motions. And I think the last time they were out there when they gave up such a long drive has had an impact and an effect negatively on the season. Touchdown, Aggies! Quarterback just showed us he can beat you with his feet as well as his arm. And what a dangerous weapon this guy is. And he converts the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He'll return it from the one. And down he goes at the 32. Brad, this is my kind of game. I love seeing this kind of production and the way these quarterbacks are playing. Both teams are challenging both of these defenses. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Now he tries to buy some time. And he's taken down at the 36. Three, maybe four yards on the scramble. The Red Raiders are going to call their second time out. From their own 36-yard line. Second down. Red two. Throws a bullet. And he's immediately tackled. Bring him down around the 19-yard line. Kill, kill. Panther two. Check 99. Check 99. Dog four. Kill, kill, kill. Gunner three. He scrambled. That's a great tackle at the 20. The smart quarterbacks and offensive linemen have a really unique relationship. A quarterback should take care of his offensive linemen. But after that play and that hit, you really got to be wondering what kind of relationship this quarterback and his offensive lineman have after that. Oh, it almost picked off. Nice job getting a hand on that one. Yeah, really good heads up play there to get a hand on the football by the defense. Third down and 11 coming up here. Ball on the 20 yard line. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. Boy, would he like to have that one back. Yeah, you're right. This offense relies so much on timing, and as you saw there, when their timing gets knocked off, they have a tough time connecting on plays like this. Rose to the receiver, got it for the touchdown. Yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. So they go to the air on fourth down when they needed a big play, and boy, do they come through. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. And he hits the PAT. A seven-play, 69-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. This quarterback has really demonstrated a tremendous amount of ability and leadership today. I'd be very surprised if he didn't continue to play well. 21-21 ball game. Tackle at the 27. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. He's to the 40, and they make the stop at the 45. So at the end of the half, we've got a stalemate right now, 21 apiece.
Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. What a terrific first half. This is everything we anticipated this game being. And we're going to be riveted to this game, I feel like, David, in the second half, anticipating a terrific finish. It's it's fun. It's 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 living up to the hype every single time. We can't even turn the channel here. We got it on the big screen, on the big 60-inch. Yes, it's quite nice, by the way, too. The weather's nice and warm. It's beautiful. Got some chips. We're opening them up a little bit. But great game, living up to the hype. It definitely feels like both teams are evenly matched. It feels like it can go either way. It feels like it's going to come down to the wire. And the only thing I hope it doesn't come down to is a kicker. Please don't come down to a kick in the end. Both these teams playing great D, playing great O, you know, physical, you know, pounding on each other, making big plays. Don't come down to a finesse kick by like a, a soccer player, please. Just about set to start the second half. What are you looking for? I I'm looking to see which team has that decided schematical advantage. And if they can find it, they'll blow holes three or four axe handles wide. Brad and Kirk will be there to call the second half. And the second half just about set to get started. We're dead even. Robinson's on the He's to the 20. Brought down at the 24-yard line. A lot of times you'll see teams start to clench up a little bit when games stay close well into the second half. You need to stay loose, keep doing what you've been doing all week in practice, and execute when it's time. Strike to his receiver, no good. You know, Brad, this is one of those plays where the quarterback just wants to apologize to the wide receiver, maybe every other member of this offense. But the wide receiver, if he's smart, will come up to that quarterback, tell him to forget about it, let's move on to the next play. He makes it to the 25-yard line. Anderson gains about a yard on the play. to go long and does. Brought down around the 35-yard line. Tries to scramble, but he's sacked. Call it a loss of four yards on the play. That'll bring up second and 15. From the 39-yard line, it's second down. Now he's scrambling, tries to get around the corner. Tackle made around the 36-yard line. That's good for a gain of three yards. That makes it third and 11. Right around the six yard line. That brings up second and goal. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. Yeah, anytime a quarterback makes a throw like this. The best thing a wide receiver can do is come over to the quarterback and pat him on the back and tell him to shake it off and let's make the next play a better play. The worst thing you can do is put your arms up in the air as if you're blaming the quarterback. Come over, tell him it's all right, and move on. 
Dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle. That screen play gets him a yard at the most. This was just a little dump off pass to the halfback, but it was very well defended, keeping them from moving the ball very far downfield. It's fourth down. This should be an easy field goal. Texas A&M is looking to go up by three. Kicks away, and the field goal is good. Burke has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. Gathered in at the six. He's taken down at the 31. So the Aggie staff has got a winner on their hands. You've been around kids like this. They're just fun to be around. Uh, they're fun to be around, and I think it's infectious. His attitude, I think, uh, permeates throughout this entire offense and really uh, throughout the entire team. There's, it's no wonder this team is so competitive with him at the, at the front leading the way. These tackles at the 40-yard line. That's a deep that brings in second and one. Makes it out to about the 49. That makes it first and ten. Wants to throw outside. Got it. Complete. He's out of bounds. He gets out to about the 17 yard line. Call the game at 12 yards. First down. First and goal. First down. Knocking on the door here. It's first and goal inside the five. It shouldn't have surprised these guys to see the run coming at them, but they just couldn't stop it. And the good news for this offense is they took the lead back. But the bad news is that the other offense is more than capable of putting points up on the board as well. He makes the PAT. It was a seven-play, 70-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Ralph has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. From his own goal line, he's to the 20. And he's tackled at the 27-yard line. Kirk, if this keeps going like it has been, we are going to have one exciting fourth quarter. I just hope we continue to see this kind of execution. It's a lot of fun to be able to watch these offenses make plays, and it kind of has that feel. Whoever does have the ball last and a chance to make a play could win this game. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Slings it. He's knocked out of bounds at the 48. That makes it first and 10. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Second and ten. 
Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 48. And he makes it out to about the 47-yard line. play by the defender. All you have to do sometimes is get your hand on the ball. That'll bring up fourth and nine. Doesn't want to let the punt returner have a chance here. He just wants to change field position. Room around the corner. He takes it in at the 14. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. Boy, this is a competitive game. It's fun to watch these two teams go back and forth. Just when you think one team has the edge, the other gets right back into it. This is exciting. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. Texas Tech holds a four-point lead. Quick pass. He gets hit out of bounds around the 39-yard line. First down. Scrambling. Slides down. That's good for a gain of eight yards. First down. They'll get him for a loss. Well, I think it's safe to say the defense had his number on that one. It can be very frustrating for a running back when he stopped before he even gets going. Lead it by four. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Texas Tech is up by four. Hey, kill, kill, kill. Ooh, play. Play. Boy, was he drilled as he let go of that football. Yeah, he's going to feel that one tomorrow. Robinson, back to return it. He's out of bounds at the 10. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. They line up at the 10. Second down. the catch and look out he steps out around the 15 yard line and they've got all their dbs in there to match up against the five wide set and he snags that one and he's taken down around the 17 yard line he 
gets it to the 42-yard line. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Texas Tech is up four. From the 42-yard line, it's second down. They'll bring him down right around the 28-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Got a man, but he's tackled back behind the line of scrimmage. Carries the ball for a nice game. That's a game of five on the play. That'll bring up third and six. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hurry up, hurry up. Check, check. Orange three. Orange three. Gains his way to the 13-yard line. That's a game of the play. First down. Complete brought down, nothing doing. That's a good one, two yards. That brings up second and nine. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. run up the middle. Ernst gains about five yards on the run. The defense puts an end to the no huddle offense by calling timeout. Here's the eighth play of the series. Quick throw out to the receiver. And they make the stop at the two yard line. I love to watch quarterbacks on third down and just kind of see where they are as far as their psyche and their, their approach to the game. This is another big third down. He was able to sit back, evaluate the defense, had just enough time to be able to make the throw. He picked up first down to get a new set of down. Brought down around the one-yard line. Texas A&M's called their final timeout. And this is the tenth play of the drive. They put everyone up on the line. Touchdown, Red Raiders. the extra point. Let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update. The Terrapins were ranked 24th. Now the loss is likely to knock them out of the pole. And for West Virginia, they've won two straight. The Mountaineers prevail by seven. All right, Reese, back to our game. And looks like they're ready for the kick. He's to the 20. 
And down he goes at the 27. The offense will be hoping for a little more success than they had the last time out. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. Throws in a hurry. Finds the junior. Tackle made around the 38-yard line. Here's a great example of what this man is capable of. As receivers go, he's as electric as they come. Quick throw, and he's got his receiver again. And he's tackled around the 32-yard line. Spikes the ball. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Hey, pick it up, defense. Let's go. Hey, check Mike, 27. Check Mike, 27. And he tackles him hard at the 28. Throws this one out to the left. And he's immediately tackled. Touchdown, Aggies. Late in the fourth quarter, and the big question is, in a game this close, who's going to crack first? So the offense will stay on the field and attempt the two-point conversion. play 73 yard drive but the failed two point conversion keeps it a six point score Brad I love these kind of drives they're old school grind it out and earn the yards and just rip the heart right out of that defense. Ball's proven before that he is one cool customer under pressure yeah you know, all great quarterbacks they want this opportunity the ball in their hands with the game on the line now it's just a matter of going out and delivering this has been a great game and it all comes down to this who can prevail, the offense or the defense? We're about to find out who's going to win it in this drive. It's the sophomore that's got it. And down he goes at the 45. They come out on an empty backfield. There's a strike complete, and he hits him hard at the 33-yard line. Under a minute left in the game. And he stops the clock with a spike. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 33-yard line. Throws incomplete. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. And a quick throw. Well, a lot of frustration by that offense, but you've got to give the defense credit for coming up with a stop in this quarter in a game this close. McGee picks him up about three yards with the catch. They've done a great job on this drive with the underneath pass. The quarterback isn't forcing the ball, and you can see how effective he is. The spike will stop the clock. Second down and ten to go. Ball on the 20-yard line. Quick throw to the back, it's incomplete. It's the ninth play of the drive. Hold this. Hey, check Mike 27, check Mike 27. Damn, yellow eight. Steps up. 
Quick shot to the open receiver, and he can't hang on to the ball. Anderson, the intended receiver on the play. Well, they're looking for another fourth down conversion. They've already gotten one this drive. Throws this one out to the right. So a fourth down stop there late in the fourth quarter, and that should do it. It's always a gamble going for it with so many yards to come up with. But when you're behind, sometimes you have to take risks to get back into a ball game. Here we are late in the fourth quarter in a very important and a very tight football game. And who's going to come to the forefront? We'll see who's got the most leadership. Takes a knee. And this one's all but wrapped up with the final score, Texas Tech 35, Texas A&M 30. So, Kirk, how would you sum up the action of this one? Good teams will normally find a way to win a game at the end. But for whatever reason, they couldn't get the job done today. Credit those guys on the other sideline for executing a great game plan to perfection. Texas Tech got these guys into a dogfight, and in the end, they just wanted it more. They made the plays they weren't supposed to make and won a game nobody thought they would win. So that wraps things up for us for EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.